Hello, this is Jeff Bird. Welcome to the fourth video in the series of A Thought from Jeff. Uh, this video follows somewhat the previous three videos, uh, which are all on uh, my coaching page, Jeff Bird Coaching, on Facebook. And uh, feel free to check those out, but I'm going to give a brief recap. So in the first video, we investigated the value of a story, understanding behavior of both ourselves and other people in light of the associated story. When we know the story, we can appreciate the person and understand the behavior so much better. And we looked at seeing everybody as a 10. We're not tying them to their story at this given moment or their behavior. We're believing in them. We're believing in what they can be and what they're going to do. We're believing in ourselves. Then that led into a discussion of abuse uh, and all the various types of abuses. There are many, many, many types. And they've come in, in infinitely many forms, but they all have at their core a message, a message about our identity and our worth. And healing of, of an abuse, of any abuse, is going to have to, because of its nature, involve a new message about our identity and about our worth. So we want to get those new messages going, the truth. So I drew in the third video, I shared this little diagram here about abuse, and abuse is any message, any message that puts me worth less than the truth, which is that I have infinite potential, infinite value, and infinite capability to love and be loved. That's the truth. Any message that's less than that is in some way or another an abuse because it doesn't lift me up to where I really am and to see myself and others around me as who I am and who they are. So what I'd like to talk to you today, what I'd like to talk about today is, is how does this play out in a corporate setting? Okay. You probably heard as I have, well, you know, whatever's going on in your personal life, you know, you just leave that at the door when you come in and you just come in and you put on your professional facade and you do that. Well, that leaves us some options. Number one, first of all, I've never dealt with a professional that wasn't a person. So the, the first thing that person can do, if they have other things that are weighing on them, they can deny them. They can just pretend they don't exist, just go right on through life. That's very common. Denial, you know, we've all heard denial isn't just a river in Egypt, you know. And that's uh, funny in some contexts. It's tragic in others. So the second thing we can do is just pretend like the things that are bothering us don't bother us. The messages we're receiving about ourselves, about life, those things don't bother us, you know. So we can pretend that, or we can just ignore them. We can just ignore that it's an issue, and uh, you know, just just go on about our business, and uh, you know, try to do the best we can. And uh, but see, those options don't seem like a good corporate culture to me. Denial, pretense, or ignorance—that uh, is not going to be a good, fruitful, profitable corporate culture. What I'd like to suggest is this. Let's go back to this diagram. And let's start basing corporate culture on the truth about each individual in our corporation, our clients, our referral sources, and everyone we meet. Let's start recognizing this about them, that they each person there has infinite potential, infinite value, and infinite capacity to love and to be loved. Now, when we see that, okay, a lot of things are going to happen. That is going to change morale drastically. Have you ever been in a meeting, in, in a business meeting, where you heard what was going on and you had an idea, and it was a good idea, and it would change things, but you just didn't even want to share it? You just thought, well, if I do share it, first of all, so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so are going to try to find fault with it and shoot it down. Everybody else is going to have a million questions about it. And by the end of the day, I'm going to be exhausted and no good's going to come from me having shared it anyways, except that I'm frustrated and exhausted. So you just didn't even share it. I, think, I wonder how many companies are started because people just take their ideas and go off and do their own thing. They, we see in statistics that 90% of people leave their jobs because they can't get along with their immediate supervisor. Now, if their immediate supervisor had as a paradigm 
that that person had infinite potential value and love, how much difference would that make? They'd be ready to listen. Our teams would be ready to listen. If we believed that about each other, that, oh my gosh, the, you know, Jane or Bob or whoever, boy, they've got infinite potential and value and, and they're loving and they're creative. And if they've got an idea, let's hear that idea. Let's see how it can benefit. Let's take that idea and run with it. So here's the paradigm that I'm going to suggest is if we view each other that way, and if we view and if we constantly affirm the truth about each other, we're not going to have to tell people just leave their issues at the door. Now, of course, you can't just, you have to be able to function, but if we can help each other believe these things, it's going to minimize the other issues of life. The, the belief that we're not, we can't, we never will be, these issues are too big, there's no solution, I always fail. Yeah, how about a creative person who, is, who has come to believe that they always fail and then they undertake something new? with great potential. And then they come to a little bump in the road, which every new endeavor is going to have, lots of them actually. And they think, oh, well, uh, you know, I shouldn't even try because I knew I, I knew I would fail at it anyways. And this little bump in the road just confirms that. Then they stop trying. Let, let's create teams that continue, you know, continue to encourage each other to keep on, keep on keeping on. Let's go for it. No, hold the vision. Hold it. We're going to make it through the bumps. If we fail, we're going to fail forward. We're going to learn from it. We're going to evaluate it. Let's create a different corporate culture. And here's what we can end up with. This is grow. We want cultures. Don't you want your business to grow? Don't you want your team to grow? Don't you want to grow? Here's what we did. Okay, the G. So I did a little acronym. The G is gain perspective on our infinite potential, our infinite value, and our infinite capacity to love and be loved. Let's realize the potential we have. Wow, we've got it. We've got the seeds of greatness within us. We've got intuition. We've got creativity. Let's recognize that and then offer opportunities in our corporate world for those things to be realized. Now, everyone's not going to be an instant success, but let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater. As we try these new things, as we gain perspective on our, our potential, as, as we start coming up with those ideas to move us toward that potential, then let's offer opportunities and have good feedback and discussion. If something doesn't work, don't throw out the whole thing. Let's see what didn't work, evaluate it, and then continue to move forward. And then as we do those things, we're going to start to see the fruit of that. The, the, the who we are, what we can do, the opportunities to do it. And as we refine and refine and get better and get better, we're going to win together. That's how this is going to work. And you know what? Mor morale is going to improve. Turnover is going to reduce. Employee satisfaction and support of others on the team is just going to get better and better. So let's do that. Let's grow. Let's get our perspective, understand our potential, get the opportunities going for ourselves and each other, and win together. Thanks so much for tuning in to this Thought from Jeff. We'll see you next time. Make it a great day.